to the Art Lab in a Box, everybody. Today we are making this very, very cool, spooky bat pastel drawing. Go ahead, get your box, and I'll show you what we need inside. For this art project, you need your new pastels, your black piece of paper, your bats, a piece of Kleenex tissue or toilet paper for blending. And then you're gonna need a bowl or something that's in a circle shape, maybe a plate or something that we are gonna use to measure a circle, a big circle on our paper. So go ahead and get everything ready and let's start our art project. So the first step, we are going to be putting our bowl or our plate and if you don't have one of those, you can do it with your hand. You don't have to have a bowl or plate. This just makes it easier. So I'm putting mine right in the middle of my paper and I am gonna find a yellow pastel. These are oil pastels. So these are a little bit different from crayons. Um, you can blend them and I'm gonna show you how to do that. So the first step, we are just gonna trace around our bowl using the yellow. I'm gonna go all the way around until you make a circle. All right, go ahead, press pause and trace your circle. Okay, great. Now we have a beautiful circle here. We are gonna take our yellow and color in the entire circle. We're gonna make it nice and dark. and fill in the entire circle, trying our best to stay inside the lines, but it doesn't have to be perfect because we are gonna be blending the colors together. Okay, press pause and color in your entire circle really dark with your yellow pastel. Okay, so what we're drawing here, this yellow circle we made, this is gonna be the moon. So once we're done, we're gonna make a moon with a night sky here. We're gonna be putting our bats in front of the moon. So let's do the next step. Let's get our orange. And with the orange, we're gonna make a big orange ring around our moon like this. Thicken it up a little bit. Once again, doesn't have to be perfect. I've done this a lot of times, so I, I'm very good at making straight circles. It might not be as easy for you and that is okay. That's why I keep trying and you will one day be able to do pretty good circles. Even mine are still not perfect sometimes. All right, go ahead, add your orange ring around your moon and press play again when you're ready for the next step. For this part, next part, you can use your Kleenex to blend the orange and the yellow together, but it kind of wipes it off a little bit. So I prefer to use my finger and just gently rub on the line where the orange meets the yellow. And it's gonna blend together and give it kind of like a little more depth, kind of a 3D effect. Don't rub it too hard. You don't wanna rub all your pastel off. Your hands are gonna get a little bit dirty, but that is why art is so fun. Right, right, I'm going all the way around. And there we go, it is nice and blended. Okay, perfect, go ahead, press pause and blend your two colors together. All right, that is looking great. I am gonna add one more orange circle, one more ring like that, and blend it in again. Just to add a little bit more orange like that okay go ahead add an extra ring of orange inside your bigger ring of orange okay our moon is looking really professional really nice now it's time to add around our moon we are going to use gre greens and blues for this area so i'm just going to take any green i like and just kind of add some scribbles around the edges like this 
it's kind of like a Halloween night sky behind the moon. So I'm choosing like greens and blues. You can pick a little purple if you want. It's up to you. I really think this is gonna look great no matter what colors we use. There, I've got some green. And now I'm gonna add a little bit of blue. Try to have fun and be creative with this part. You can really do any colors you want. Once you have colored blue and green all around, once again, using your finger. Oh my goodness, aren't pastels so cool? You just kind of rub over the paint. You don't want to rub the moon in the sky together. You kind of want to keep it separate and just slowly blend. Like I said, you can use a Kleenex for this. I like to use my finger. I think it works much better. Go all the way around. I didn't color all the way to the edge. You can do that if you'd like. I decided to just go almost to the edge so you can still see the black sky, the black paper behind it. So here I go, almost done. If you feel like you're ready to do yours, go ahead, press pause and press play again when you're ready. Uh, just do some blending. Have fun with your pastels. Okay, for a last step, I'm gonna add some black and I'm just gonna do a couple of rings around the moon, just like that. I'm not gonna blend it. I'm just gonna leave it like that, just to kind of create like a more dimension, more um, contrast in my picture. And now that I've blended any, everything, I'm gonna add little pops of purple as well just because that is my favorite color. You can do the same. I'm gonna add some red, a little red, a little purple, and I'm just gonna blend it in, just because if you know me, you know I love extra colorful things. Now that I'm done my moon sky, the only thing I have left is to add my bats. So get some tape, get some glue from your box, get a glue dot, either one, and just add a little glue to the back of each one of your bats and put them on. So what we wanna do though is put our biggest bat at the front and have them going smaller towards the back because the bats in the front are always bigger because they're closer up. I folded my bat so they're kind of bent. You can make yours flat if you want, but I wanted mine to look 3D. And there you have it. This looks awesome. Now I just have to wait for it to dry. Go ahead, press pause. It's time for you to add your bats with your glue. Thank you for joining me, everybody. I had such a great time making this with you. I put mine in front of my fake fireplace to make it look extra Halloween and I love it. I hope you guys enjoyed making yours. Make sure you use your pastels for lots of other things. Try your color blending on white paper and see how bright the colors are as well. See you later, everybody. Bye. Bye.